Hi, this is Alex Maines with an audio precision quick tip. Quick tips provide a brief look at an APX500 feature or function. This quick tip introduces two distortion ratio result controls available in APX500 software version 6.1. The two new controls are calculation mode and normalize. They are available in the THD ratio, distortion product ratio, and HOHD results. THD ratio and distortion product ratio are available in acoustic response and continuous suite measurements, and all three are available in the loudspeaker production test measurement. Let's take a closer look at each control. IEC and IEEE standards use slightly different methods for calculating harmonic distortion when analyzing the response of a device under test. The calculation mode parameter allows you to quickly display THD results according to each standard. You can use the Calculation Mode drop-down menu in the Results Settings bar to switch between the two calculation methods without rerunning the measurement. You can add a second instance of the result on the right axis to display the result with both calculation modes simultaneously, as shown here, or add both IEC and IEEE THD graphs as separate measurement results. Calculation Mode controls are also accessible from the API. Normalization addresses some common effects when testing loudspeakers. One effect is that speaker output levels decrease at lower frequencies, which appears in the result data as an increase in THD. THD can also appear due to environmental conditions such as sound reflections. With the normalized checkbox selected, the graphed results more accurately reflect the THD for the device under test by accounting for these and other effects. We can see this by comparing the graph of the normalized THD ratio results to the frequency response and observing how the normalized results at lower frequencies more accurately match up with the frequency response, as shown here. As with the calculation mode option, you can quickly change between standard and normalized graph views without rerunning the measurement. You can also add a second instance of the result on the right axis to display both standard and normalized results simultaneously as shown here. Or you can add both standard and normalized THD graphs as separate measurement results. The normalized control is also accessible from the API. The new harmonic distortion options provide the ability to select the calculation mode that matches your measurement requirements. That's all for now. You'll find more information in the documentation provided with APX500. Look for additional quick tips at ap.com. And thanks for watching.